Newport News now and a scene we all remember all too well. Two students shot chaos inside Heritage High School. Months later, some students are still coping with what happened. And a 15-year-old pleaded guilty in that case. And now we are getting a look at surveillance video of that violent day last September. Then your side's John Dowding walks us through the chain of events. John? All right, Tom and Lena, we first want to start out with a warning for everyone at home. The video you're about to see is graphic and could be disturbing to some viewers. Both of the students who were shot did survive. Now, video from inside the school, though, paints a clearer picture of when chaos unfolded last fall. Body camera video from outside the school and surveillance video from inside the building show one similar thing, chaos. Let's head inside the school to see how all of this unfolded. Surveillance video from inside the school shows a packed hallway with many students heading to their next class after lunch. As students keep walking, you start to see some students duck in the back middle part of your screen. Immediately, the crowd breaks apart and students begin running. You see two students push past each other to get out of the way. One student falls to the ground while another struggles to stand up. Taylor then comes into frame, pointing a firearm towards the two students as one tries to run away. One student falls to the ground, but then gets back up and runs away. Again, the students hit by gunfire did survive. One suffered gunshot wounds to the head, leg, and fingers. Another was hit as she was leaving the cafeteria. Then video shows Taylor running through the school, first trying to find a room to enter into, then continue to run until he goes out a door of the school. It's important to remind you that everyone in this case recovered from their injuries. Taylor pleaded guilty to a number of charges, including malicious wounding, felony use of a firearm, possessing a firearm on school property, and discharging a firearm on school property. And Taylor is due back in court for a sentencing hearing in August. Ten on your side spoke with the father of one of those victims who says his son has permanent injuries from that shooting. Taylor's family declined to comment when he was in court to enter a guilty plea about a week or two ago. In the newsroom tonight, I'm John Dowding. Ten on your side. All right. Thank you, John.